Good morning, beautiful and strong people. Uh, another live video. And today we are why you are not seeing results. I have, um, I know Facebook here and Instagram over there. So my eyes are going to go a little bit up and down. <laughs> That's the reason why. Um, the three reasons that I want to name today, there are many other reasons that can be holding you back from seeing results. But three, I'm going to talk about the all or nothing mindset, restricted diets, and the third one, only focusing on exercise and calories or uh, nutrition. I'm Elena Rivera Galaz. I'm a nutrition coach, a personal trainer, and master health coach. And I help women to build a plan that gives them long term results without dieting. Not, I don't believe on diets anymore, restricted diets, and without exercising for hours like more and more by using nutrition and behavior change, meaning adding positive habits one at a time. And I'm going to talk about that today uh, to give you that strong foundation for long term results. Either way, you're going to get healthier, stronger make friends with your body, you're going to get leaner, you're going to be more active and uh, feel better. That's where I can to help you. And if you have questions or you want to reach out to me, you can post all your questions while I'm talking. And then when the live video is, is gone, I will respond all your answers. So three reasons why you are not seeing results. Let's dig in. <laughs> First one, the all or nothing mindset. So there is nothing more frustrating than uh, being, not being able to reach your goals and feeling stuck or reaching like hitting a, a plateau. Uh, you are eating healthy, you are exercising and still you don't see results. What's going on? So this is a question that I um, comes to me very often while working with, uh, with clients on one on one. And the first reason that I'm going to name is the all or nothing mindset. Uh, I don't know how many times have I uh, been frustrated with my food choices, the lack of motiv motivation, telling myself that I was not going to do this, I wasn't going to eat more of that, or I was going to do more of whatever thing, and then ended up doing it or not doing it anyways. And what I call the Sunday night decision or Sunday night mindset. When it's Sunday night, you are frustrated. This is it. I can, this is enough. And you say to yourself, starting tomorrow, I'm going to cut all sugar. I'm not going to eat any of this. I'm going to exercise every single day and you, or I'm going to do this cleanse, or I'm going to do this mm, 20 days, uh, fix all your problems. And with that mindset, we go from A, all the way to Z, just like that, and hoping that this is the solution, the diet, the plan that is going to give me all the results forever, long term. And what happens with this, um, with this um, um, mindset is that um, it's not sustainable. It's not something that we have changed our diet or our lifestyle so radically that we are setting ourselves up for a lot of frustration, disappointment, in, in pain, honestly. And the thing is that when you try to change a lot of things at once, the, 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 the chances of being successful are very low. There is this book that I'm reading that is called The Power of Less by Leo Baba Uta. And he describes how he changed his life by doing one thing at a time. He found that if he assigns himself to one practice, he could do it consistently about 85% of the time. But when he tried to do two things or assign himself two practices, new practices, the rate dropped 35%. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Three things at a time. He was barely able to do anything at all. And maybe you are thinking, Elena, I'm a woman. I can multitask. And I would say, of course you can, but I rather you to make things simpler for you to be more successful. Okay. So this is the number one, number one, don't go from a to Z. 
pick one thing out of the time that you want to change and focus on. Reason number two is restricted diets. Oh my goodness, I could share. I think I have done it all of them uh, on my on, on my life. And let me tell you, your body, let's just start saying your body needs uh, calories to function. Yes, the body uses calories to keep you and maintain you alive and function it properly. There are like three main uh, processes like BMR basal metabolic rate, meaning the amount of calories that your body needs to be alive, to move, to do the things that you do. Do you know that your brain needs calories, your heart even more, your liver, your kidneys, like your brain, for instance, 300 calories per kilogram of body weight. <gasps> then your heart, your liver, all your organs are using calories. The other, the number two is digestion. Yes, when you eat, and your body is digesting and metabolizing that food, burns, needs calories to do that. And the third one is the activity level. So not only exercise, but exercising or moving, like when you are doing your, you know, your, your uh, chores, going up and down or walking on, on uh, all the things that you do <laughs> on your day, you are using calories. So we know if we want to lose weight, Elena, I need to eat less calories that I spend. And then I, in a deficit, I lose weight. If I want to gain weight, I need to eat more than I spend. We know that, but listen to this. Come closer. Listen. If we restrict our calories too much for too long, we will harm our health and cause closer, even closer, the opposite that we want. We can gain weight. Are you telling me that if I eat less and less, I might gain weight? Yes, you can. Why? Okay. Some reasons on why the metabol when you are eating very low calories for a long time, your metabolism adapts the metabol the, uh, the metabolic adaptation, meaning that you start burning less and less calories up to 25% less eating the same amount of even less Okay. Another reason is when you eat so little, it's hard not to think about food all the time and you feel hungrier and we can blame one hormone called ghrelin. Yes, that hormone that um, regulates your hunger signals. So it's like when, when you are trying to eat less and less and less, you are hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. And when you haven't eaten, this hormone comes, ghrelin saying, hey, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And then when you start eating, it's hard to put your fork down. Why? Because there's another hormone called leptin that regulates your, your satisfaction levels. So if the leptin goes down and it's very low, nothing is going to make you satisfied. It's once you, you, can th you can stop thinking about food. And then when you start eating, you can stop eating it. Oh, that's not what we want. Then another reason, um, the increase the weaker bones the chances to get sick, to get injuries, because restricted calories might disrupt hormones like estrogen, testosterone, other hormones, and can result in weaker bones. And also, I need you to come closer again. You know, you, you're, if you stay in that low calorie and lowering and lowering your calorie intake, you can even get a bigger belly. Mm -hmm. You know why? Not eating or eating very low is very stressful on your body. When we are under stress and that chronic stress, another hormone called cortisol goes up. Cortisol is not a bad hormone, but when it stays high, very high, is when we is, is um, we start storing that fat on those areas on your body that you don't want, like your tummy. Oof, a lot of things, right? And then calorie restriction can make you prone to get more sick because your is lower your immune defenses. So let's do things right. Let's find out what is a healthy deficit and how long we should stay on that deficit. Because yes, if you want to lose weight, you need to be on deficit. And I'm going to next, uh, if it's something that is, in, is uh, interested you, I can talk about, I can help you how to calculate a healthy deficit and tell you how long you should be taking and how to break it. 
but I'm not talking about that today. This is for another ray, day. Reason number three, let's go. Focusing only on calories and exercise. We know that if we want again to lose weight, drop fat, we need to be in a deficit and exercise, right? How many times I have heard saying like, I'm doing all the right things, I'm exercising and still Elena, I don't see results. Well, maybe you are doing all the things uh, right and you are not losing weight. Maybe because focusing only on calories and exercise is only just one piece of the puzzle. Yes, let's first listen to this again. <laughs> let's shift our focus from calories and exercise alone and find other ways to measure your progress. Like how is your mood? How is your energy? Do you feel stronger, more energized? Your clothes start feeling like differently. You are more focused, you feel better, and you feel like more in peace, less stressful. And how is your consistency? Oh my goodness, consistency is key in order to see and maintain results. As a matter of fact, I believe that consistency is the most important thing to be successful in anything in life. Sometimes we give up so too soon. You are seeing results, maybe not as fast as you wanted, but it still are results, it's progress. And then because you don't see the progress that you see, you give up and you are not consistency. Listen, successful people do consistently what other people do occasionally. Let me say it again. Successful people do consistently what other people do occasionally. So don't give up. Keep doing the things that are working. And I'm telling you, little by little, you are going to see results if you are doing it right. So if you still are doing all the things, Elena, I'm doing all that you have named today. I'm eating the right things, doing exercise, changing one thing at a time, be consistent, and I don't see results. What's going on? Okay, maybe, maybe. That happens only to me, but maybe we need to be a little bit honest with ourselves and check if we are really in a deficit and we are really doing as much activity or exercise as we think. We usually, or oh, I, I, I'm gonna put myself, I usually underestimate how much I'm eating and I overestimate how much I'm moving. So check those boxes, those pieces of the puzzle, put all the pieces together and then the last thing that I want to say today, build powerful habits. Habits are powerful. Habits shape your future. Habits like eating slowly. Stop when you are 80% 80, 80 satisfied. Um, sleep quality, stress. How is your stress level? Your emotion, your feeling, your anxiety. Taking and adding powerful habits one at a time. Remember the Leo, uh, the, the, the book about power is um, the power of less. One habit, habit at a time. This is something that if you focus on those things and not only on calories and exercise, you are gonna create powerful habits that are gonna last forever. Unbreakable habits. So this is what I want to share uh, today. I think I'm on the 10, 15 minutes mark. And these are three of the reasons that can be holding you up. And I think I named more than three. I, I, I named a, a lot. If you still have questions, if you still feel like, no, I need help, there is two ways that you can work with me one-on-one -on -one with my private, uh, my private um, uh, business on online or in person if you are in the area. And the second one, uh, because I want to reach out to more women and I have talked with a lot of women lately that has said that they would love to work in a group of setting with women that have the same goals. And I answer and I'm going to deliver this group coaching uh, program online. And now I'm looking for 10 women, women, sorry, you know, I'm from Spain, English second language, 10 women that are willing or committed to give me feedback as I keep putting together all the content for my program. And these 10 women, only 10, 
are going to get 50% off of the final price that is going to be launched uh, January 2023. So if you want to be part of these 10 group of women that are going to, who are going to get 50% off to be part of this group coaching, is called macros and habits macros we are going to be talking about about nutrition what are your macros how much protein carbs in and fat your body needs to start seeing results we are going to be a personalized plan there are going to be workouts three workouts every week and habits we are going to work what what i talked today about adding helping you to build strong habits one at a time this program is going to be about 10 12 weeks and you are going to be, uh, I'm going to be live once a week with all of you in, uh, you know, with this, with a group of women to keep you accountable. And when we do it together, it's much easier, much more powerful, and it's going to help you to get you where you want to get. Okay, beautiful and strong people. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs>